Let's take a look at how to color line art using Corel Painter. I have my PSD open here in Corel Painter. I'm going to select the brush tool. And the brush that I want to select is the scratchboard tool. You can do a search for scratchboard, and that's found in the artist favorites category. Next, I'm going to look in the layers palette. I'm going to select the color layer. Then I'm going to select a color from the color picker, maybe a nice yellow color. I'm going to do a few little test strokes here. I can make my brush bigger by either using the left and right bracket keys, or I can hold Control and Alt and drag my pen to resize it on the fly. Since we're painting on the color layer, we can actually paint behind the lines, so you want to make sure the lines stay as the topmost layer. If you're using a drawing tablet, you should be able to change the size of your brush with pen pressure. Pressing down harder will give you a thicker line, pressing down lighter will give you a thinner line. If you overpaint, you can select the eraser. You can also name your layers. I'm going to go ahead and name this layer yellow. I'm going to create a second layer and I'm going to call that orange. You can rearrange the order of the layers if you like. I'm going to keep the orange on the bottom. And I'm going to select an orange color and I'm going to start painting. And because the orange layer is below the yellow layer, I don't have to worry about painting over the yellow. I can paint behind it. I'm going to create a third layer. I'm going to move that down below the orange. I'm going to call it red. And I'm going to paint with some red. Now the advantage to separating your colors like this is it'll make it a lot easier to change each individual color. For example, I can go to Effects, Tonal Control, and Adjust Colors, and then I can change the value, the saturation, and the hue to make a completely different color. This will only affect this one layer rather than all the colors in the piece. Next, let's take a look at how to get some marker effects. I'm going to create a new layer on the top of everything, and I'm going to set it to a Multiply Composite method. Then I'm going to select a blue color, and I'm going to paint. And while I'm painting over the white, you don't really see much of a difference, but if I paint over the other color, you can see that it blends much like a marker would. And you can, of course, use the marker brushes in Corel Painter as well. Now let's take a look at how to color using the paint bucket. I'm going to right-click on my lines layer and choose duplicate layer. I'm going to name the bottom duplicate bucket, and then I'm going to select the paint bucket tool. I can hold Alt to sample colors on screen, and then I can click within any of these cells to fill them in with a color. We can also change the background color if we click on the canvas layer, and then we choose a color, we can fill it with the paint bucket. We can also change the color of the line art if we don't want it to be black. Let's right click on the lines layer and choose duplicate layer. We'll name that layer color hold. We'll turn on preserve transparency. We'll choose a new color and then we'll go to edit fill to fill it with that color. We can select any color we want here to change the color of those lines. Now let's take a look at how to create gradients. I'm going to search for the airbrush and select the digital airbrush. And then on one of these yellow layers, I'm going to make my color slightly lighter and I'm going to airbrush over that area. As long as Preserve Transparency is on, my paint will stay within that shape. I'll go ahead and do that for the orange and purplish red layers as well. That creates some nice gradient effects. Let's take a look at how to blend those gradients. We can use a blender like the Coarse Oily Blender, and we'll blend those two colors together. Try to stay away from the edge because you'll end up pulling in white or black. So you can really go through and color this and shade this however you like. But when you're ready to save, make sure to not save over your original. Go ahead and choose Save As to save a copy. You can save this as page 16 and then add your name or whatever you like. You can choose PNG for your file format, or TIFF if you want a high-res print, or JPEG if you want a smaller file for the web. So there you go. That's a quick tutorial on how to color line art using Corel Painter. If you're interested in coloring this mandala, you can download it along with 19 other mandalas. It's available as an adult coloring book on gumroad.com slash Aaron Rutten. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.